Ghana's former IBF lightweight champion, Emmanuel the Game Boy Tegu, lost by unanimous decision to American boxer Ryan Garcia in their eliminator fight on Sunday, April 10, 2022. Game Boy had promised to show Garcia the real Ghanaian pepper, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Both boxers started the round feeling off each other's strengths, and it was clear that Garcia had the speed, size, and was comfortable pressing the action. Garcia looked really good, considering that it's been 15 months since they last fought, and Game Boy, on the other hand, had not fought since 2020. Ryan Garcia stunned Emmanuel Tegu and dropped him in the second round with a series of right hands to connect. Tegu got up quickly and disagreed with the referee for deducting some points from his fight. In round 3, Ryan Garcia looked really relaxed in the ring and it became increasingly clear that Emmanuel Tegu was outmatched. Although Game Boy landed with a couple of shots in round 4, it appeared that he lacked the skill to kick the fight to the second gear or even dig deep to knock down Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia became relentless, chasing Tegu around in the ring in the fight, but brought the fight straight to him with a stalking attack. Garcia was confident and wanted to intimidate Game Boy, but he lost it any time he faced the Ghanaian at the center of the ring. As the fight reached midway point, Garcia became more patient, stunning and delivering body shots. Tegu briefly flashed some shots for a moment and his punches caught up with Garcia. Ryan Garcia had landed 73 punches against Emmanuel Tegu's 25 through round 6. Tegu connected with a looping left hook one minute into the seventh round. The punch got the attention of Garcia who immediately got more aggressive and threw combinations to compensate with the mishap. Game Boy held on to the powerful right hook for a long time and Garcia failed to land enough punches in the latter rounds. 23-year-old King Rai, as he's affectionately called, never expected to have Game Boy take him to the entire 12 rounds for the first time in his career. After claiming that he had sized Game Boy at the presser, well, I thought Garcia was going to knock down Game Boy in round 6 or something but it looked clearly that he enjoyed the hype around him but if he had met Tegu in his prime I don't think Garcia would have made it past six knockouts in his career as a boxer. Well the judges called the fight 118 to 109, 119 to 108 and 119 to 108 in favor of Ryan Garcia by a unanimous decision. Garcia landed 165 out of 569 punches while Game Boy landed 90 out of 391 punches. A win for Emmanuel Game Boy Tigo would have taken him closer to relishing a world title shot in the lightweight division later in the year. The win takes Ryan Garcia who is unbeaten to a record of 22 wins and 18 knockouts with Game Boy recording his second defeat in 34 bouts in history. I wish book bosses the best, but for Game Boy, I think he has some few fights to clear before he calls the time on boxing. But for Garcia, I think he's here to have a real test, but I think some big weight in the lightweight division would give him a good ride. Well, thanks for watching. Do what to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment.